Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is draft time. The year is 2025 in this Seattle Mariners franchise. We're going to go ahead and try to add some talent to our ball club. We've been waiting for this. We're going to take a look at some of the prospects we've been looking at. We're going to put them on the board, talk about them a little bit, and then we'll get into the draft here. So, The big one for us, Mark Patton, we think could be a legendary pitcher. Like This guy... I don't want to take another starting pitcher. I think I'm good on starting pitchers, but our scouts are saying this guy is unbelievable. He's got great potential. Bats left, throws right. Canadian-born ball player. Great stamina, great hits per nine. Four-seam slider, sinker two-seam. Throws hard, so we like that. Jim Wellburn is another guy that we like. Um, he's going to be gone, though. This was a discovery guy, Mark Patton. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Alberto Novoa, another big one that our scouts really like. Pretty similar situation to Mark Patton. But once again, I just I don't see the need to pick up two big right-handed starting pitchers. I just don't see it. So anyway, but number one overall, definitely Mark Patton. And then we'll add Novoa on there as another good option. If he falls to us in late rounds, then we'll definitely pick him up. But Stefan Diaz, this was a guy that he was ranked right around our draft position, so I scouted him. Obviously, we have the 20th pick. He was ranked 24th. Our scouts actually really like him. Moves him up into the 11th spot. Good potential, right? Great velo. And then four-seam slider, curveball, changeup, great pitch mix. Probably my favorite pitch mix of the top three pitchers in our draft, so he's a big one there. Michael Lowe, another starting pitcher. Pretty much the same deal. I mean, a lot of these guys are pretty similar players. I don't know how we're going to be able to tell. I like Stefan Diaz a little more because his overall is going to be a little higher and he's healthy. Um, Michael O opted out and his overall is a little bit lower, but still about the same potential. Really good hits per nine, though. So overall, probably a better performing pitcher. And he's a lefty, but he's only got a three-pitch mix. This is a guy, if he falls late, we might be able to pick him up. So we'll add him. Here's the top position player in the draft, according to our scouts, according to our rankings of people we've scouted. Francisco Montoya. This was a discovery guy that we found. Tons of pop. Left-handed hitter out of Missouri. Right fielder. Guaranteed B potential. A lot of power. He's out of Missouri. We like him. Not a lot of defense there. He is 22 years old as well, so I'm not really sure where that's gonna, you know, where that's gonna go. How long it's gonna take him to get to the big league level? But definitely a guy that we like. I don't know if he'll make it to the second round. He might. We're just gonna have to see. Adrian Francisco. This is a guy that he kind of climbed up on our rankings. To me, he just doesn't have that overall potential. That I'm really looking for. Could be a late round guy. He was ranked 55th, which is why we scouted him. We have the 57th pick. I like him. I just don't like him enough to take him that early, but we will put him on the board. This guy, Jimmy Navarre, is the guy that I have my sights set on. I doubt he falls to us, but if he does, we are taking him 1000%. First baseman, 6'4, 227 out of Columbia, 22 years old ready to go right now guaranteed to be in the upper 70s at least great ability to hit left-handed pitching good defender as well for a first base but not much on the arm but i don't care about arm at first base that's a big one that's a real big one he did opt out of the doctor's exam but uh put him on the board big one and then another first baseman rafael espinosa this guy was ranked 54th our scouts like him they think he's got good potential. Left-handed bat, he's a little bit farther out than Jimmy Navarre. But this wouldn't be a bad option either to go in the first round since he is on the board. We'll just have to see what happens. I have a feeling the board's going to get all kind of screwed up. But the main thing we like there, can hit both sides, right? Can hit righties and lefties. He is left-handed, which is super unfortunate because we really need right-handed bats. Seems like a lot of the talent in the draft, though, has been left-handed bats. We'll add him there. Moving on down the line, there's a few guys here that we really wanted to scout, but we just didn't see, you know, I think Cardona's going to be gone. I just, I don't see him making it to us. 
Um, there's a few other guys mixed in here that we like. We liked Hendricks Gorman. We just didn't get a chance to scout him individually. Here's Clemente Peralta, another starting pitcher. This one, to me, he's close to being big league ready, but the overall potential is just not there. So I'm not sure if he's a guy that we're really into. This is a cool one, Jorge Acevedo, shortstop. We don't really need shortstops, but guaranteed B potential, guaranteed upper B potential, 21 years old. Not a great hitter. However, the defense is ridiculous. This is like gold glove caliber defense. Great reaction. His arm is decent. Um, not great, but we can train that up a little bit. A little bit of speed. Not a good hitter, but you know what? We're going to... We're going to put some money down and hopefully sign Acevedo. I think it'd be a good piece. Richard Hayashi, 73 to 89. Once again, like decent, but just not super great. Um, I'm just not sure that he's going to be super high up on our board, but we'll have to see what happens. Enrique Rodriguez, I like the potential there for sure. He is 18. It is interesting that our scouts like... Uh, they like Hiyashi more, probably because he's a little further along. Yeah, I guess. But we'll put him on the board. You can see the starting pitching depth is nice. I like this guy, David Liu. He's just 21. Um, that's why our scouts don't like him as much. Akira Suzuki really just not that good. He's okay, but a late round guy for sure. He'll probably be available late round. So that'll be good. Brian Choi, this was a good one. I mean, we, we like what we saw out of him. Problem is, we just don't know what he's going to turn into. He's a left fielder. He's not bad. He's got good potential, but it, it kind of looks like maybe the hitting's just not really going to be there. Good speed, good arm, but we're just not sure on Choi. Dwayne Estes was an interesting one. I'm just not sure. Maybe if he's around late, we can pick him up, but... Not big on that. Sandoval, I'm really not even interested in. Uh, Sebastian Nieves. Here's a second baseman, a position player. Looks like he could be pretty good. He's going to be a ways out. But he is 18 years old, so it could be a long-term prospect. I like that move. He could be a late-round guy. Antonio Cosmo, another guy that I like. This guy, a little bit more what we're looking for. Can hit left-handed pitching. Hopefully he's still around. Brian Tan, we like. This is the first baseman with a bat. Not a lot of potential compared to what he's going to be overall, but kind of a flyer guy. Raul Campos, not a bad pick, um, but not going to be super good. Roger Telshaw is an interesting piece, but definitely a late-round guy. He'll probably be gone. We probably won't grab him. Um, and then Marcus Manzillo. Wow. He looks good. He may be a guy late in the draft that we pick up. I haven't really looked at him. I like his pitch mix. Two seam changeup slider curveball. That's really good. Just not a lot of stamina there. So I don't know what's going to happen. We'll have to see. Uh, moving on down the line. Willie Ochoa will probably be gone. But we'll put him on the board anyway. He just doesn't have a lot of potential. He could be big league ready. But he's just not really going to be it. Um, Jason Crow, center fielder, looks pretty good. I don't know how he's really going to be. Um, so we kind of leave him out there. Leonardo Ordonez was a guy that we did scout. We did kind of like, um, but we'll have to see. Maybe it's a flyer late rounds. Keith Montero, good hitter for sure. Just not sure where the potential is going to end up. And then Nicky Ferguson, a guy that we really like as a right fielder. Once again, the bat's not there, but the arm is ridiculous. A lot of good stuff to look at there. Hopefully, we can be a little bit position player heavy in this draft. We have guys that we like as far as starting pitchers in our um, in our minor league system right now. Randolph could be a guy late. So... That's pretty much it. That's kind of the breakdown there. Mark Patton is the guy that our scouts really think is good. They think we need to pick him number one overall. I might lean that direction. So let's go right to the draft.